Hey guys, today we're trying American Truck Simulator as requested by Steven Eckleby. Oh, that just popped up for a sec. Oh, it's, it's back. Uh, this is an interesting form. Okay. Do I need to have a company name? I guess I do. Art Biscuit Incorporated. Shit. There you go. Let's turn this down. This music's a bit up there in volume. Alright. Company logo. Sure. You look like a fart, fart biscuit. Just giant garish chrome. <laughs> definitely did a second. Definitely second guess that for just a second. When I thought that was a good. I thought that was like, is that Bo Burnham? What the fuck? Is, is, these have to be just like the company of photos or something. Look at this fucking champion over here. Alright. Uh, Steam Cloud, sure. Uh, let's do controllers, because that's what I have right now. Simple automatic and real automatic. Which one says design for control? This one says it's for a wheel with pedals, which I do not have. Let's do a simple automatic, even though it mocks me with a wood block with wheels, but I'm playing with a controller, not a sophisticated driving rig or whatever. Finish wizard. <laughs> I've heard truck simulators are pretty chill, that you get to like hang out, listen to the radio, and slowly drive long distances. Which city you want to start in, okay? That's as local as we're gonna get. Can't click that one. Okay, I'll do Sacramento then. Yes, I do want to do the walk through the tutorial. I better not ever have to walk, though. I'm here to cut. Current job is salt. I guess that's what happens when I choose the location closest to Andrew. At last, you have the chance to experience your dream job, driving a truck. Is it? Is that what it is? Your own transportation company is now open for business, but sadly you lack the money to buy a truck. For now, you'll have to work other, for other companies to just drive for hire. Your task is to safely load, uh, safely deliver a load of salt to Walbert Dock in Sacramento. I'm already in Sacramento. This is gonna be a short drive. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle that will cover all expenses. Uh, don't, okay. Just, just go and deliver. So we're going from Sacramento to Sacramento. I'm gonna get paid four hundred dollars. Damn. All expenses covered. Press E to start the engine. I thought. Okay, I was like, didn't I play- didn't I pick controller mode? Uh, you can use the following keys to move, or I can just press the joystick and triggers. So. Yeah, we're good. Oh, they want me to stop, right? There's other cameras available. B button. Not that B button, though. Whoa. <gasps> oh, I just decoupled, uh, coupling. Cool. Okay, yeah, you want to be generally attached to the thing behind you, otherwise you're kind of in trouble. Okay. Let's do this. Right stick turns my camera. Oh, it does not auto center, so I gotta be really careful here. This is one of my fears a little bit is driving a very large vehicle. I always find that when I'm driving a car, it always feels like the car's way bigger than it really is. I'm always a little concerned about parking, so whenever I get stuck driving like a big truck or something, I'm always a little nervous about parking it because I feel like I'm gonna hit stuff. And this time, I am driving a massive nightmare vehicle. Switch to the chasing camera and look around the truck. Uh, oops, I should stop decoupling. There you go, okay. Left and right bumpers are my churn signals. Left trigger is brake, right tr Everything's beeping at me now. Right trigger drives. Okay, they're not gonna let me do anything else till I press this, so, uh, one, two, three. Whoa. That's a camera angle. Okay, cool. It just doesn't seem to be optimized for controller. I couldn't find a way to continue. Uh, use route advisor to see where you are and need to go. Hit F1 for a closer look. 
Uh, when the game is paused, you can control route advisor with the mouse. Oh, oh god. The, it's a mouse that I can control with my joystick. Alright. You have sat nav called route advisor available at all times. Route advisor displays your current status and helps you with... Okay. Current speed, gear, damage from fatigue, contents, page toggles. I think this is a relatively intuitive stuff that I probably don't have to... I don't know. <laughs> when there's a giant tutorial at the beginning of the game, I'm always tempted to kind of fast forward through it. But... Then that could bite me in the ass really hard. Alright, so F6 lets me go to the job description page. Simulators are always incredibly dense. Because... There's like... It's like the almost like fetishistic level of recreation that people that like this genre want to go into. This summarizes your job. Okay, for F7 for diagnostics. How badly your truck is damaged? Zero percent. Thank you. Alright, so back to F1. All set and ready to go. Follow the nav towards your destination. Uh, we'll first have to go back to having navigation, so... F1. Uh... There. And then F1. <laughs> I'm reaching from my controller to the keyboard and mouse, because it doesn't seem to be designed for... Just keyboard and mouse. I mean, or just controller, I mean. I. It, uh, oh god, okay. Yeah, you, you, so you do all these menus by manually driving a cursor around because they didn't really design it for a controller, I guess. I just want to invert Y. Not invert mouse, invert camp. There's too many settings I give up. <laughs> We're gonna be here for hours. All right, I'll just deal with it. It's fine. I don't have to change the camera that much. Boo doop. Maybe it's just me, but I always feel like it's more intuitive to play with a uh, controller than a keyboard and mouse for driving games, specifically. Because joystick is better sense- you have, you have better control with a joystick that has sensitivities than pressing A and D on a keyboard. Steer. But obviously the idea would be to have a, a actual, proper, uh... We're gonna stop at the stop sign. A good boy. Turn my turn signal on. Check for traffic. Nobody coming. Here I go. Don't hit me, other truck. Oh, okay. Other truck. Oh. oh, how fast is this turn? Fast enough, apparently. And I hit the curb. Cool, we're off to a good start. I oh, I'm about to hit, get into a head-on collision. All right. People told me these were reci these these are exciting. I mean, uh, not exciting. Uh, relaxing. That first turn was already really stressful. Uh, maybe it's better with the wheel. What is that light for? Oh, it's a... What kind of vehicle are you? Garbage truck? I am kind of imagining how this might be kind of neat in, uh... In VR. If you're, we if you're wearing a VR headset and you have got a steering wheel, it might be nicer than... <laughs> oh, you can look out the window. Neat. Uh, oh, green light. Trying to evade traffic laws. You guys ever played like GTA and specifically tried to obey the traffic laws and like drive like a human would? It's surprisingly hard sometimes, but it's also kind of weirdly satisfying to be like, look how, look at my fine control I have over this vehicle. What's the speed limit? Probably like 50 around here. What's my speed right now? Miles per- down there. Okay, there. That's the- yep, there's my speedometer on this- Oh, it's 30. Or it's 30. So, I- I am currently driving the speed limit. I thought I was going slow. That's just the sense of speed you get from driving a giant-ass truck. Yes, I- I also like to play b-ball. Walbert? You're approaching the entrance gate to Walbert. Oh, this is my goal. Once the terminal is like the desired parking spot, proceed to this park the trailer. Uh, what the, how the, the, what do you mean select your desired parking spot? Don't you just park in it? And then you're like, I did it. <laughs> I parked. Is that guy breaking in? What the fuck's happening? Is he, oh, is he washing the window? He totally looks like he's breaking in or something. Uh, enter? Uh... 
Where do you need it? Let's play it safe or sorry, I'm in a hurry. Skip what? Trailer delivery. A skilled trucker, uh, truck driver can deal with maneuvering in tight space when dropping off a trailer. However, cargo safety is a top priority. If you do not feel up to the challenge, negotiate with the dispatcher for a backup place to park the, tra the trailer. So where do you need it gives me plus 40 experience, but I have to try to figure out how to park with the trailer, which is basically a nightmare. Let's do it. Can't wait. They want me to put it all the way over there. Fuck. And I can't go around the back of the V. I would loop around normally behind the uh, building, but I can't do that because it's a fence. So I have to somehow turn around and then... Oh, fuck. <sighs> uh, ah. Just crank that wheel. Just crank that wheel. Just crank... Hey, guy. I'm trying to get run over. There's so many bald people because it's an... Because every... A lot of, like... Double-A and indie games have bald people because hair is hard. So, there's like an epidemic where if you're not a- you're either female or bald. Those are the two genders. In video games. Uh. Or- Hello, hard hat man. I am going to definitely die here. How do I- Oh god, camera! Uh, two, three, two. This is a disaster. Okay. We're going to back back out of here and try a different strategy. One that a smart person would do. Oh god, this camera isn't, uh... <laughs> I am barely good at normal parking. How the fuck am I gonna do this? I was relatively proud of myself when I slowly got used to parallel parking at the new house. Because the sidewalk was just kind of always taken over by too many people. And the... And then right when I got used to it, they were like, you know what, actually, we do have room in the driveway. And I never had to do it again. Oh god. Hope there's no pedestrians to accidentally murder right now. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, beep. Did I hit that? I might have hit that. Sorry. We have, mis we have a <sighs> acquired truck damage. <sighs> now turn. Turn. It's not going. Okay. Okay. Don't mind me, I'm just driving into traffic real quick. It's normal. This is normal. Go around. Go around. <laughs> Somebody control the camera for me. So I'm trying to drive a car. Oh god. Uh, this. <laughs> I really wish I was able to invert the camera. But it's gonna just be a problem for us this whole time. Okay. I need to maneuver around a little bit. Fuck, not that much. Alright, can I zoom out more? <laughs> I kind of want like a fixed camera angle that can fit the entire car in the frame. While also kind of showing where I'm trying to go. You're just, I'm just not getting what I want here. It's just not happening. Alright. Let's try to straighten out. I hope this is everything you dreamed of. Patreon person. <laughs> uh, Alright. Fuck. I'm, I'm just completely unaligned with this fucking... I don't think you can. I just want to slowly back you in. This shouldn't be this hard. Uh, how do you not kill everybody on the road at this job? Fuck. I turned... Zip to... 
I just want you to go in the side alley. This is the- this is a fucking advanced-ass first mission. Fuck, I'm- uh, uh... No, not that one. Is this any help? This is not really that helpful. I'm just trying to- it's really hard to visualize which way I'm going. Because I'm used to being in a car seat when I drive. Not a third-person camera like that, so I'm trying to think about what- oh, fuck. I think I just killed somebody. Oh god. What? <sighs> you guys really should have hired somebody that knows how to drive a truck. <laughs> that was the first mistake you made. Is you didn't hire anybody that knew what they were doing. Like, I can't be held responsible for the fact that you weren't smart enough to hire people that know how to drive. Classic mistake. There we go. Okay. Kinda went too far though. Mm, eh, not, not really. Ah! Brain. Okay. Quiet victories. Yes! We've made it past the first turn, kind of. Let's straighten out. Oh my god. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Okay. Oh my god. I gotta remember that, like, it's like reverse psychology. And it's- it's- it's hard to think about, because, like, when you drive a car, you're- When you're backing up, you already have, like, a reverse psychology thing going on with, like, which direction you're cranking of that makes you go in a particular direction, but then you're pushing a trailer that will then also go in the opposite direction of where you're trying to go. And it's- it's like a fucking prank. I just played Snake Pass right before this episode. Like, I'm playing two things back to back of where, like, basic movement is, like, the hardest thing on the fucking planet. The difference being, being that this is some people's real life that they have to fucking deal with, but I guess they figured it. I, I, I'm sure you get used to it. Much like the snake, I'm sure you get used to being a truck driver. Just like I get used to being a snake. It's a bit of, you, you build muscle memory. The fucking prank is that I'm making myself try to do it when I... <laughs> no. <sighs> no. 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 <sighs> Will this help? Probably not. Go away, fucking to get off my- try and look at the windows. Hey, look, I'm a giant orange block of text that you already read, and I'm never leaving you. I didn't actually already read it, but I get- I get the gist. It's like, uh, turn in the shit. It doesn't end- oh god. It doesn't end with, here's how to make me go away, so... Which is what the other messages ended with. It's very hard to stop, stop and start at turning. No. Go this way. I'm getting closer. Oh my god, I'm getting so much closer. This might be it. Oh god, nope. I lost it. Oh my god. Uh -huh. I used to get so much... I used to get, like, kind of panicked out of the fact that we had, like, a... We had this, like, suburban house I grew up in, and, like, there was this extension on the side of the driveway where they could kind of drive up past the side of the house a little bit. And back when I was in high school, we had a boat that would take to the lake. My dad would just fucking drive that shit onto its tiny, tiny side of the area next to the house and just fucking casually park it there, and it's like, how are you doing that? I'm pressing the wrong directions. Like, I can't do this with, like, a giant-ass open area of, of space. I don't know how anyone does it with less. Uh, I hate this. I actually hate this. Okay. <laughs> Just go on this. How the fuck do you do this? This feels impossible. <laughs> it's so fucking complicated. 
You have two vehicles essentially at the same time that both kind of work in their own weird different ways at the same time. Oh my god, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. And in real life, it's stressful because there's the risk of danger. Good job, what are you waiting for? Unload and start playing on your own. Wow, now the true adventure can begin. Hooray. Don't judge- don't you fucking judge me. N I mean, that's true. No penalties anywhere. It didn't even tell me how long I took. So, oh, time taken 54 minutes. Shit. No, I, I took- I took less than 20 minutes. That's, that's your made-up time. You have made-up time. Monday. 10.54 a.m. Free as the wind. Alright. Well, that was a nightmare. This is your headquarters. It's a pretty basic garage. It may not be much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park there yet, so there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money to buy a truck, we Isn't this my truck? Whatever. Job market. Quick job. Get me hired. Listen to this Nirvana ass music. Hey. Where are the jobs? Do I just click on a place? Las Vegas. Wow, I'm supposed to get to Las Vegas. Who, who the, no, you cannot drive from Sacramento to Las Vegas in two hours. What are you talking about? Whatever. I'll go for the, I'll go, I'll go to a Las Vegas job for the butt men. Go. Las Vegas to Barstow. I'm going, oh, I'm starting in Las Vegas to going to Barstow? I've been to both these places. I know these places. No one, why would you go to Barstow on purpose? Jesus. <laughs> uh, I don't do not recommend, generally speaking. Barstow's not. It's, 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 it makes people hardy. Oh, cool. I will make it. Lost, uh, Barstow's just kind of this like death strip in the middle of the of the, the Death Valley. I was I went there when I was visiting Rainbow Basin for a geology expedition, and so on. But it like, Jesus. <laughs> it's it's one of those ones where it's like the whole town is kind of built along the freeway because it, it's like a strip that's just kind of built around the road. So it's like a drive-by situation. Which, I mean, I get it. I grew up in a city... I fucked up already, didn't I? I grew up in a city that was built in... that uh, basically existed because two freeways happened to intersect there. Fucking this up immediately. Here we go. Here we go. Turn left. Howdy, y'all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a red light. I'm just gonna have to wait patiently. Because I'm such a good boy. We were... It, it was just... We were hot and miserable. Because we were in Death Valley during the summer. Weird choice for a... For, a, for like a field trip situation. Feels like kind of like dangerous, but sure. Take, take your students to Barstow in the summer. They'll love it. Uh, in a place like that, Foster Freeze was a goddamn sanctuary. It was like visiting heaven. Like, it makes you believe that heaven is real and you found it. Cool, I crashed. All right. First time driver, baby on board. Watch out, everybody. You're gonna die if you're not careful. Okay. Let's just drive... You gotta do wide turns. Yeah, Foster Freeze is like, they serve hot dogs and ice cream, and they have air conditioning, which is good because it's 107 degrees Fahrenheit outside, and one of your classmates has already suffered heat stroke. I'm already sick of how hot it is in my part of California. I don't need to go to the part that's just on fire all the time, or would be if it had anything to burn. Barstow, the place where that only where the one guy dies in Kill Bill. <laughs> Barstow's like the setting of Kill Bill Volume Two, or a, b a bunch of it.
Cabaret du Lune. Is there music in this game? I heard it earlier. I always hear about like people playing truck simulator games and then like tuning the state radio to like real radio stations or whatever like it's like a feature in the game. They get to hear the real music. It's kind of a neat detail. They just kind of zone out and slowly drive around a lot. Look at that nostalgia critic looking motherfucker. The Monkey King. Part 3. They would have to- Oop! Got on the freeway. A little late. Don't mind me. Just panic turning. Hit the curb again. I'm good at driving. They would have to divide Journey to the West into a bunch of separate musical plays. That's an astonishingly long play. I mean, uh, book. I don't see anyone on my left here. Alright, so no one has to die today. Good news. My first attempt to join the highway slash freeway or whatever with the nightmare truck is uh, not led to a casualty yet. But we get, there's still time. I watch uh, Overly Sarcastic Productions, the YouTube channel. And they normally, co they normally cover a particular thing in one episode. But they've been covering Journey to the West for literally years, and they frame it like it's a Dragon Ball Z saga because there's just so much of it that it'll never end. The speed limit should be 65. Although if you're hauling something, it's usually like 55 for the trailer. Now we're just gonna gonna chill out. Wait, this might take a while. Prim discovered. I'm not discovering places, it's the goddamn United States of America in modern year. We know them already. <laughs> I know we pulled that shit where we moved, to, we came over here across the seas and we're like, wow, we just discovered this new continent, never before seen by man. And there was like a bunch of people already living here, but it's a little fucking presumptuous to still be doing it in 2020. Be like, just driving to Nevada, be like, fucking, wow, I just discovered Bar- No, I'm not Barstow's in California. I just discovered Las Vegas, me, for the first time. That's crazy. I guess I can like, take this place over now, it's like mine or whatever. Oh, there's a digital readout of my speed. That is more- that's easier to read than looking at the tiny, tiny speedometer on the bottom of the screen. Did it say I'm already at Barstow? It says my ETA is like two and a half hours and- oh no, that was a- uh, it's just telling me that this is the route to Barstow. I went by a little fast and thought it said next exit was Barstow. Two and a half hours. Well, I don't really have that much time in the episode, so if we could speed up a little bit. I know it's not real hours. It's like, it's kind of like seconds, almost. I might be there in a few minutes, maybe. Where's the nitro on this thing? I need to hit the nitro. What was that? Whoa. Oh, I think if you click the right stick, it recenters your camera. The problem is I feel like I'm looking to the right right now and not centered, so that doesn't feel very centered. Is that Rainbow Basin over there? Wait, did they put Rainbow Basin in the game? I don't know. It's just what the it's just what this place it's just what this region looks like, kind of, doesn't it? It looks familiar. I guess it looks like an area I've been to vaguely. I'm not gonna say like, oh yeah, that hill, I know that hill, but like This is familiar landscape. But with Poppin. Driving 70 miles per hour in a trailer truck, that's probably illegal. Considering it's illegal to drive over 65, technically, even though people don't respect that very much, but I'm driving a giant death train, and I don't even have rails. Get out of my way. Let's hit the rumble strip for fun. It rumbles my controller, I can feel it when you hit the rumble strip. Haha. <laughs> Alright. The reality is settling in that I am just hanging out driving 
a truck in a straight line. I'm sure this is a really good job for people with ADHD. They definitely don't lose their mind at all doing this continuous action. Having a, I'm having like a crisis of faith because this is the context, the exact context where I listen to a podcast. But I'm the podcast. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> but doctor, I am Pagliacci. <laughs> oh god, I'm going 90 miles per hour. <laughs> is that another truck? Oh, is he merging over? How dare you interfere with my driving? I need to go 100 miles per hour towards Barstow. Everyone knows you're supposed to treat the estimated time of arrival as a fucking dare to beat and not as, you know, guidance. It's like, oh yeah, you think I'll be there in 70 minutes? I'll fucking beat that. Definitely not risking the lives of everybody on the road in the, in the process. No! Get out of the fast lane. I need it. I need it or this video will be even longer. Nobody needs your FedEx shit. Nobody needs it. I'm not signaling when I change lanes. I'm being a bad person. I am driving in a lane though. Like that's an, that's an upgrade compared to my normal playthroughs of racing and driving games in the open world. Specifically like a real piece of shit when I'm in an open world environment and I'm driving around, I definitely have a tendency to just like... Uh, what is on the screen? Oh, that's on- I think it's on the screen. Ah. Yeah. Uh, I think something got on the screen. I thought it was like something that was like... in the game. I'll deal with that after this video. Uh, in an open world driving games where I gotta get to a mission or whatever, I definitely fucking cheat. I split lanes like I'm a motorcycle- motorcycle driver. <laughs> I'll just drive it on the dotted line. <clears throat> I'll just drive on the dotted line as a normal-sized vehicle. Although, preferably as a motorcycle. Then you get to genuinely split lanes, and it's much safer. Uh, and what I'll also do in, like, in, like, G I remember specifically when I played G through GTA V, uh, I, pl I drove in the oncoming traffic on the freeway. I would drive against traffic and mostly on the dotted line. And that was, my, that was like, my method I had developed for the most- be, being able to most quickly arrive at my destination. Is... Because the traffic f is flying in the, past you in the opposite direction, there's, like, less density of vehicles in general. Because they're all coming at you from the other side, so they're, it's much easier to weave past them in the other direction than it is to drive past them when they're on the same side of the road as you. Because when they're on the same side of the road as you, it takes forever to pass them. So you kind of can get hung up by all the traffic sometimes, but when there's no traffic, because it goes vroom, right past you like a fucking death missile, uh, you get, it's pretty easy to, to get past all the traffic and just kind of make good time. And I made a really good time except for all the times I died. <laughs> Definitely made it more exciting. I actually had a lot of fun playing through GTA V. But that was 2013. It was kind of... When I wasn't really doing solo videos yet, and that was a that would have been a really big process project to do with two people. But we did try. I actually, did do, we did do like the first third or fifth or whatever of a playthrough, me and Andrew of GTA V. But it kind of just kind of ended one day, just petered out. And also, one of the highlight videos made of it was taken down due to community guidelines, and I'll never know why. I still don't know why that video was taken down. It was the only time that's ever happened on any of our channels, and it was never explained what we wrote, what rule we supposedly broke. It was especially confusing because it was just edited together footage that was highlight reels from the other GTA 5 playthrough that already existed. So I was really unsure about like what the fuck rule we broke, but okay. You turn in? I don't see a turn signal. That was a weird time. So I've had one video that was taken down due to community guidelines and no explanation. I've had one video that was taken down because uh, the indie developer that hated, that was mad at us for criticizing their game did like a bad faith takedown of only our video and nobody else's. 
Uh, and then uh, I've had a bunch of copyright ones where it's just the usual bullshit everyone deals with. Am I going? Yeah, I'm going into this parking lot. I made it to Barstow. The brass tack interiors upholstery. In the flying carpets. Linoleum, tile, hardwood, marble. A lot of fives. Uh, one, five, 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 five. Banner. Made it to the buttman. How y'all doing today? Do I have it in my soul to complete this? Can I do it? Where do you need it? Of course you do. Right there. How are we gonna do this? Mm. Beep beep, motherfuckers! Looking for redemption For whatever comes my way I'm gonna hit you with my truck You're all gonna fucking die I, I gotta, gotta remember Don't press the direction you normally press You normally press like this reverse direction Because you're driving the truck And of course that's how you would that's how you back up a car, as you press the reverse direction from how you- from how you would expect to steer it. Oh my god, I literally correct myself and I still can't do it correctly. It's just too ingrained. I've spent too many years trying to program myself to think about how to drive a car backwards. That I lit- straight up can't translate that into me driving this fucking truck backwards correctly. I'm gonna fucking die. This is fucking miserable. This is not gonna happen. I'm jackknifed as shit. And also kind of, I, 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 I can't stress enough how unintuitive this feels. It's really fucking hard. Do, 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 do. Come on, it's a character arc. I need to I need to progress as a person Show growth Otherwise, they'll put me back in the system Now it's the wrong way. It's the wrong way idiot. Come on There's only two directions. How do you keep pressing the wrong one? Well, it's like a finesse thing where I have to kind of wobble back and forth like I'm playing flappy bird Try to like get it just off because like I want it to be off center so the car so the thing rotates Oopsie, I, didn't, I meant to not stop it before that obviously Okay, fuck it. We'll just like back right back in It's like an off center flappy bird sort of thing where it's like there's a finesse to it because there's no You want to go all the way left or all the way right you want to like kind of <laughs> Come on Come on. Just grab your brush and put a little makeup. You shut the fuck up. You don't know you don't know my life. Don't you fucking honk at me. Literally as I'm getting out of your way, so you waited that long to honk at me. I see how it is. Okay, I can't actually see shit from this camera angle. Hello, cop car. Thank you for not deciding I was a menace to public safety or whatever. Okay. Can I zoom out more? I have that, by the way. My my dick button is there. Uh, kind of need to like crank it. If I'm gonna make it much of anywhere, but not that hard, maybe. Uh, I hope you all appreciate the fact that I definitely looked at the timer and was like, we're half an hour in, I could just stop. I don't need to back it in again. I could just let the video end and be like, that's it, everybody. Do my usual outro. 
But I'm like, no, I must suffer for the people. Let's do it. Let's do this. I can do this. I believe in me a little bit. I marginally believe in me. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. That guy is just fucking committed. He should be running for his life, honestly. Like, he's... He should be way more afraid right now. In nature, that, that lack of fear, I believe, is selected against. If you have a fight-or-flight response, and that fight-or-flight response is fight the truck, I, th I don't think you're gonna win, dude. I think I'm grinding against the side of the building right now. Oh my god, I'm so close. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely beating the time for last time, that's for sure. Now I just gotta, I just gotta line it up. I mean, that was always true. I mean, I, I, just, I gotta straighten out. <laughs> I'm just gonna line it up, you know, my objective. The only thing that we're here to do. No, I still always get it backwards. It's so unintuitive and backwards and fucky. I've never towed a vehicle. I've never towed anything in my life. I'll have you all know. I don't even have a. I've never even had a vehicle that you'd reasonably tow something with. Step one to making my vehicle remain functional: don't try to tow something with it. I'm not the stereotypical American that has a goddamn Hummer or whatever, or an SUV. Oh, that's just me pressing the joystick too hard while struggling to steer this thing. Apparently it's fucking impossible just to straighten this thing out. Who knew? I think part of the issue is there's a delay to the feedback. As you try to... Uh, you try to straighten out, and you're like, is this direction work? Will this direction do it? And then you're like... It takes so long to finally start moving that then you're so jacked in the, in the wrong direction, you're totally fucked. <sighs> I did it. Look at all this money and experience I'm getting. Yes. Yes, I did it. Mm. I'm level one now, or two or something. I think I, I think I was just level one. I think I just went from zero to one. What a, what a pro. You, there's skill points. Of course there are. All right, guys. So if you want this, this you, if you want to live this life, link in the description to American Truck Simulator. Thank you to the, the developers for sending me code so I can preview their game. Thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I'll see you next time.